Welcome back to Face It Net. In my last two videos, I showed you guys how to install and then customize the ESXi 6.7. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install or how to attach an additional data store to your existing ESXi server. If you look at my ESXi server here, this ESXi server has got only one hard disk, which is 40 GB hard drive. And that hard drive I need to use to create virtual machines, which is not really enough to create multiple virtual machines. I need to add more storage. So if I add more storage, then I would be able to use that storage to create and host more and more virtual machines. How do I add a storage? Let's see how we can attach a data store. So, keep in mind, this is a virtual machine. I'm running my VMware ESXi on a virtual machine. So I'm going to attach a second hard drive. This is a second virtual hard disk. So let's go here, click on the settings, go to virtual hard drives. So if you go to hard disk, you can add the second hard disk. I'm going to say hard disk, next, SCSI, create new virtual disk. And I'm going to say 60 GB just to differentiate my existing disk from this one. So I'm just giving 60 GB. Next, finish and click OK. So my second hard disk is now provisioned. So you can see here it's it got two hard drives, hard drive one and hard drive two. If I go back to my web interface which is where I have got the ESXi uh, web interface if I go back here and if I refresh you're not going to see your second hard disk all right let's wait here all right my storage is here you can see it's still data store one if you go and click second hard drive or to attach the uh, OT uh, add the new data store if you click here and create new vmf so you can see the second disk here all right this 60 gb disk is the one that i attached to my existing esxi server so i'm going to give a name to this one data store 2 and click next this is going to ask you whether you want to use the entire disk or just a free space from a specific storage you can decide whether you want to use the entire disk or you can decide whether you want to use the free space custom size right in my case i'm going to use the entire disk because i'm going to use that 60 gb to create multiple virtual machines so click next here and finish so that's creating the second data store now you can see my second data store is created I'm going to use this second data store to create and store the virtual machine. So what we have done so far in this quick video, we have attached a second storage, right? I've gone to the virtual machine, gone to settings, and in the settings, you have, you have to just add the second virtual hard disk. So click on the hard disk or click on add button here and add the hard drive so that becomes the second virtual disk you can see the second virtual disk is attached and all you have to do is just rescan the storage devices to find the attached existing data store you should be able to find the existing data store if you do a rescan so if you go to scan here rescan you can do that through the rescan once it's done you can create new data store and complete so this will attach or this will add a storage device to your ESXi. In real world, we will have storage devices attached to or will be in a SAN device or in a NAS device. We will use that storage to create and store virtual machines, right? So since this is on a practical environment, I've used the virtual machine and I've added an existing, oh sorry, I have added a second virtual disk. So this is a quick video to show you how to add the data store to create and um, store more virtual machine. In the next video, I'm going to use these created data store 
and then I'm going to create virtual machines inside this data store too and then install a Windows operating system. So stay tuned, I will create another video and in that video I'll show you how to install, how to create and install a virtual machine in this ESXi server.